Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about panels and panels everywhere with Omega 4. And basically what we're going to do is recreate what we did in the last video where we had our two layouts and they are contextually different, and we're going to recreate this using panels and panels everywhere. Um, and so it's going to be great because we're going to get to see exactly how these uh, layouts that we built uh, in Omega in your you know in your layout code and everything like that before can be used within the panels interface and it's a really nice solution and uh, you can completely eliminate the need for things like blocks and stuff like that what this isn't going to be is this isn't going to be a complete rundown on panels itself that will be another time um, in fact I'll be doing a video series on panels itself and uh, all the neat things you can do with that however we're just going to simply recreate what we have here where we're contextually changing between a couple of different responsive layouts. Now I should also note that I am absolutely freezing right now because there's like a blizzard going on and Michigan is super cold right now. So I apologize if I sound cold at all. I'm trying to keep warm here. Uh, my computer is doing a nice job of heating me up. Um, but yes, so let's get into it, right? Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have some modules downloaded and enabled. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and say you're going to want panels and panels everywhere download enabled to uh, install panels. You need C tools, which is uh, you probably already have if you're using views or anything. I mean, I can't imagine using or uh, building a Drupal site without C tools. And you can enable panel nodes. Like I said, this is going to be less of a video about panels itself and more of a video about how we can use our Omega layouts within panels. So let's uh, install those, right? Save your site. And let's get rid of our, our context that we had had made before. If we go to structure, um, I usually use the administrative menu instead of the built in Drupal menu. Um, so forgive me if this one's also super slow. I'm just not used to using it. Uh, I'm just going to delete this context entirely. Um, and you should see, we should now see this two column layout on every single page, including the home page. Here we go. If you'll notice before we had uh, a different layout for the home page, I had a big white square here. And you're probably familiar with that if you've seen the other videos. Again, as like I do most of my videos, this this isn't this stuff isn't good looking, uh, but it, it illustrates the concepts pretty well. So don't worry about how this looks. As uh, I mean, we're building the layouts here. We're not necessarily building the theme yet. So let's check it out. This context is deleted, and even more so, let's come into the modules and turn context completely off. Uh, because I don't even want to look at it. And so I'm going to uncheck all of these right here. Context Omega, Context UI. Get rid of this. Here we go. And let's come to, uh, after we save this, we can then uncheck um, Context wherever it went. And if you were doing this on your real site, you'd also want to uninstall these things. And so there is, I mean, two different sort of sides, right? A lot of people like panels and a lot of people uh, don't like panels and prefer to use something else. So the context um, and layout switching that way using Context Omega works if you do not like panels. If you love panels or you like panels or you want to learn panels, check this out because this is a pretty elegant solution. So now we have this all set up. Context is out of here. We don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now that we have context turned off and done, we want to do some other things. If you go into the appearance of your theme, uh, I want to actually turn off this layouts extension entirely. And also under development, let's turn on the region demo mode just so we can see the uh, regions for now. So let's save this configuration. Now if we come to our page, we're on the home page, you'll notice Everything's in one column again. We have all of our regions. And uh, likewise, this test page we have, same deal. Everything's in one column. We're not using any layouts. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a default page layout. And we're going to do that using panels everywhere. So what we want to do is go to structure and then panels. And if you're not familiar with panels, don't worry about it. Uh, we're gonna go over this nice and easy and you'll learn a to a thing or two. Like I said, this isn't a definitive tutorial about panels itself. This is just an explanation about how to use Omega 
page layouts with panels. And uh, Level Up Tuts will be doing a total panel series later this year, maybe even later this month. So let's go to settings really quick. And we want to make sure under everywhere that enable panels everywhere for the site template is in fact, make this a little bit bigger, is in fact checked here. Cause we wanna, uh, I think by default it's not checked, but I might've come in here earlier and checked it. Uh, we wanna make sure this is enabled because this allows you to use panels everywhere. So now let's come back to the dashboard here. And what we wanna do is under manage pages, we wanna click on this default site template right here where it says edit. Let's click edit. And now you'll notice there's nothing, there's no variance here, right? And so this is the panels interface. If you're not familiar with it, it looks a little weird. It's a little different than Drupal. I don't particularly like it, but that's me. Um, uh, but that doesn't mean I don't like its features. I just don't like the way it looks. So let's add a new variant. And what this is, is gonna say, this is a catch all. It's gonna use this particular page layout for every single page. And we can say, basic sidebar layout. You can give it whatever type of uh, title you want for an administrative title. And let's call this, uh, the variant type is gonna be panel. And we don't need any selection rules because this is gonna be a catch-all like I said. Now let's click create variant. Now under our layout, it gives us some options, but the cool thing is if we come to Omega page layouts, you'll see that our layout that we created the home and sidebar, as well as the ones that uh, came with Omega or Ohm or whichever those are in, I, I don't remember. Uh, those are also here. So we have sidebar and home, which is perfect. We wanted to use the sidebar layout that we created ourselves. And this is gonna to be totally awesome. So let's con click continue. Now this brings you to this configure screen. We want to disable Drupal blocks and regions for this template. And since this is going to be a total page template, it's going to encompass everything. This is going to be the page, right? So cool. So we have uh, our basic sidebar layout um, and we don't really need this in place editor or anything. Let's click continue. Like I said, we can go over the, uh, you know, the panels subtleties and in, in other panels based tutorials. But so now we have our different regions for our theme. And we can say for the header, just to prove that this in fact worked, let's just add, um, let's say we want to add the uh, page, let's go to page elements and we can say site logo. So we want to add the site logo and then also the header. Let's add a search form just like this. Cool. So we have both of these things and let's click create variant and down here, update and save. Cool. This page has been updated and saved. Now, if we come to our pages, particularly our inside page, we can refresh this and see not only is our content gone, uh, but we have our logo, our search bar, and it's using our layout, right? And it's even totally responsive, like how we had it. If I do this inspect thing and I go, Oop, yep, okay, nice and responsive, sweet. So that's exactly how we had it before. It's now assigning this layout, but there's no blocks or anything. Uh, what we have is really just this panel. Now, if we have this, uh, you know, the home page. The home page is also going to be using this same panel here. So in the, in the next video, we're going to flesh this out a little bit more. We're going to make this look a little bit nicer. We're going to bring in our, our page titles and our content and stuff like that. And things are going to be looking quite a bit better. And then we're going to contextually change between the two. So as always, this is Scott with Love Love Tuts. Thanks for watching. This is the first video of 2014. Uh, I've been making these tutorials now since March of 2012, and I'm excited for this year because I'm gonna produce some excellent videos and I hope everyone's ready for the year ahead. Cool, so thanks for watching and see you in the next one, bye.